totally influenced by the company you keep, massively influenced by the company you keep. And sometimes you have to think, you know, just like we have starter homes, you can have starter or even starter marriage. You think, oh, I got this home and it was great, but I've outgrown it now. And I think it's okay to say I've outgrown these people I grew up with. You know, I go back to my village, tiny little village in Cambridge. It's lovely, but a lot of the people I went to, they still live there and they, they think that's wonderful to have never gone any further. But for me, I just needed a much bigger, broader life. It doesn't mean that they were wrong and I was right, but it meant it was the right thing for me to leave all that company behind and find a completely different life. Mm. But we're very influenced by the company we keep. And if the company you keep is dragging you down and limiting you, then you should let go because you can't find new horizons while clinging to the shore. You got to, the most important words in the world are let go. Let go of things that get in your way. Let go of things that hold you to the past. Let go of people that maybe aren't right for you. You know, when I was raising my daughter alone, I had a group of friends, all single mothers, and they were really supportive and it was lovely. But I realized later that some of them were very negative about, you know, men and they and. and I didn't share their beliefs. And as my daughter got older, I just gradually removed myself from that group because I decided it was a bit negative. And it was, it, for me, it was negative. And then I wasn't a single parent anymore. I got married and I was very happy and I still saw them a little bit. But, you know, people think, oh, that's really awful. You're cutting someone out of your life, but you're not. You're just finding a new horizon. Mm -hmm. You have to let go of the past to embrace the future. Many people hold on, they hold on to so much stuff. And it just weighs you down. So mm. you should let go of anything that doesn't serve you in the nicest, kindest way. You know, if I want, I can think of one particular mother who was so negative. And I just eventually, you know, stopped replying to her invitations. I took the energy out of it. It's like if you're playing tennis and you put down your racket, you can't continue the game, can you? So I just decided, you know, she's a great person, but not she's not my person so I just gradually remove myself from that relationship kindly and nicely and slowly because I couldn't be around that negativity anymore.